take pancreatic cancer as an example, and it's an important one because it's one of the most dangerous types, super high mortality rate. We're talking an average five-year survival rate of 13%. That's very low. There are strong candidates being developed right now. So one of them is a custom therapeutic vaccine, which means it's not meant to be preventative. It's meant to treat the cancer after it's popped up and it uses mRNA technology. So again, that's just the same technology as the COVID vaccines. It's showing a lot of promise right now. So in a phase one clinical trial, they did see an immune response. And so they're moving to phase too. There's also a one-size-fits-all or off-the-shelf pancreatic cancer vaccine being developed right now. So this one is not custom. It actually targets quite a large percentage of cancers, so much so that it's also being studied for colorectal tumors. It works by targeting mutations in a gene called CRAS. And so these mutations can be found in almost 25% of all cancers, but 90% of pancreatic cancers, and then also 40% of colorectal tumors. Their phase one data were just published this past August in Nature, and so they've since moved to phase two as well. Of course, it's too early to talk about efficacy until these vaccines start to move into the tail end of phase two clinical trials, but especially phase three clinical trials. That's really when we start to see whether or not a drug or vaccine actually works and how well it works. That's when we get those numbers. So I'll continue to monitor things and I'll update you when we have them. This clip is a preview of Dr. Lila's latest episode on cancer vaccines. It's live on the channel now, so head over and check it out.